Alright guys, this is all about the Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm. Um, like most of my builds, most of the guns I have, I set them up a certain way because I was inspired usually by either surfing some picture threads on, you know, the various gun websites or uh, watch the video. Uh, this is no different. This is uh, was inspired by Magpul's uh, Dynamic Handgun DVD that came out several years ago. I really like the configuration of M&P that uh, Chris Koss and Travis Haley were running in that DVD. And the M&P is a good shooter to boot anyway. So once I got it, I wanted to mimic uh, their setup as closely as possible because it's a good setup. Usually what Chris and Travis run works really well and it works really well for me. So uh, with that, I'll get into it. This is a uh, M&P 9, as I've already said, with the uh, thumb safety. Um, again, grip has been stippled by my good friend. It looks like it was professionally done. The magazine is a factory magazine with an Arandondo plus six mag extension, so I can hold 23 rounds of 9 mil in the uh, in the magazine. Um, they're not the best, honestly, as far as durability. Uh, this this base pad is has been not not a whole lot of friction keeps it on, so I wouldn't want to run it super hard with this mag extension. Uh, but nevertheless, it does give you another six. So, and there are other manufacturers out there who put out different mag extensions. But for my purposes, that works fine. Um, the uh, magazine release here is actually the Costa Catalyst, which is awesome. It just feels natural. It's super easy to hit the mag release. It's it's super natural. They're about thirty bucks from Costa Ludus. Fantastic. The trigger is an Apex trigger, and uh, the uh, Night sights are Trigicon HD night sights as well. Same thing I have on my Glock 17. And this is a factory uh, threaded barrel. Uh, so, all in all, it's a really, really fun handgun to run, especially with the high amount of 9mm I can carry, you know. Uh, the only bad thing I would say, really, about fa uh, factory configured M&Ps is the trigger. The trigger is bad. Obviously, though, Apex and other people. Uh, carry aftermarket triggers that you can install, and uh, that's really the way the the way to go. But um, the MMP is a great handgun, and it's served me well. And uh, when I'm not shooting my Glock, you know, or my 1911, usually it's my MMP. Um, it's a great shooter, and uh, reasonably priced. And best of all, it's American made. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know.